Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. It's hard to believe that pike were once looked upon as an undesirable species. Fortunately, most anglers now see them as one of our finest game fish, and rightfully so. During spring and fall, pike feed extensively and respond to a variety of techniques. Basically, you can enjoy them on your own terms. By summer, however, they become increasingly docile and generally refuse to chase bait. Under the hottest dog days, they appear to lose their appetite altogether, and it can get just this ridiculous. It's a common problem wherever they're found. There's even an old rumor that pike lose their teeth during this time. That certainly isn't true, but finding them in deeper water is, usually offshore from shallow weed beds. Here we are in a typical heavily stained northern lake to demonstrate a surefire cure for summer lockjaw. Assuming you've found the fish, try vertical jigging and slow drifting. Work your bait close to bottom, imparting little or no action. Tube jigs, minnow baits, and the like are great for the purpose. Basically, many of the same techniques used to finesse walleye will take summer pike. If all else fails, try working bottom. Do this in front of fish and you'll trigger a reflex strike. Pike have deeply set instincts and a struggling, helpless target is too much to resist. Ask any angler, what's the smartest game fish in the world? And you'll get the same answer every time, brown trout. With highly developed lateral lines, they can easily detect the movements of forage or an approaching angler. In rivers and streams, fly fishing is the classic method for taking these fish. But if you're not into this game, small lures and plugs work equally well. Actually, with the right presentation, you can fish circles around the fly fishing purists and consistently land bigger fish. In heavy water, a good approach is to stand upstream and place your lure into various downstream spots. That's contrary to the traditional upstream approach in trout fishing. Slow water and deep pools are a different story. Erratic retrieves that mimic wounded bait fish are the way to go. Even so, you may get a negative decision in the end. Browns are highly suspicious and notorious as followers. You simply can't give them too much of a good look. In our experience, lure speed is the most important factor in triggering browns. Nearly impossible to film, we captured strike shots using a high-speed retrieve followed by a sudden stop.